What's going on everyone? It's Rich Lick! In today's video, girl, you won't believe this. Oh my gosh, girl, we have so much to talk about, girl. You know what, right now, I'm here to blast the haters out of the galaxy, girl. Here we go, I'm blasting them all, girl. Get out of here, Yolanda. All right. So we need to talk about Jacqueline the Hill. Love her so much, Jacqueline Hill. She was a good woman, but she was a liar. No, I'm just joking. I am a Jacqueline Hill customer. I have this lipstick by her. This is the one I really, really like. I have it on right now. I tend to overdraw my lips when I have it because I feel so bad and boozy when I have it on. And then I also have a little bit of, girl, do not come for me. I'm a Jacqueline Hill supporter, girl. I bought, look, I buy the makeup the house. And it's used, girl. I use it the house. Yes, ma'am, ho. I have it on right now. Jacqueline Hill needs to put me in her next campaign to be like, wait, how do the beauty gurus do it? All the beauty gurus are like, you know what I'm talking about? They always, they cup their face. Like that. You gotta quiver the lip. The more you quiver, the more likes you get in the video and the more comments you get on the Instagram. Like that, very much that. So, girl, Jack and Hill put me on the ad. Million views. Like, what the hell is that, girl? Okay, so anyways, Jack and Hill is currently getting canceled, girl, allegedly, girl. But it's like, you can't cancel Jack and Hill because she's already been canceled. You know what I'm saying? Here's the thing, girl. When you get canceled the first time, like, you're just, like, shook the house by it. You are you don't believe it at all, okay? And then, like, the next time you get canceled, you're just kind of like, not my first time at the rodeo. Like, you just, you know, just like, whatever, girl. You very much that. Jacqueline Hill has been canceled. Let me see. Let me see. The lipstick. The John Hill. Let me see. Girl, she's been canceled more than more time I can count. She's still here, living and thriving, posting her videos, coming out with makeup launches and campaigns at the Ulta, living her life, buying Birkins, losing weight. Girl, Jacqueline Hill's living her life, girl. She's on it. She's dipping it and doing it, girl. So anyways, people are coming for the house. They're saying she's being canceled because, well, you are right now. You are right now. I have all the receipts and deleted tweets, girl. So, uh, let me see. The receipt goes as follows. So, Jacqueline Hill. Hold on. Let me, let me go, to, go ahead. So, that, that's a picture of Jeffree Star, girl. Okay. What does Jeffree Star got to do with Jacqueline Hill? Girl, apparently a lot, girl. I mean, hold on, I remember from my Shane Dawson when he puts me in his, in his spooky ooky movie. That's, you know, that's when you got Pat. Girl, that's me on the poster. Okay. So Jacqueline Hill posted this picture of Jeffrey Boom Boom Star. The house. Okay. Well, Jeffree Star recently launched his brand new makeup collection where it's spooky, ooky, weirdo themed, and he's in a bus reenacting his old photos back in the MySpace days, right? Legendary the house. But the picture, like, when I looked at this picture, like, this, you know, girl, okay? Uh, very much that. When I looked at the first of all, that should have been me, girl. I could have been. Hold on. That pose in the bus with a million views girl i'm telling you creative genius right here no one listens to me all that to say this girl jeffree star came out with a new photo campaign he basically recreated his old photos it was super cool and fun and very nostalgic it was fun for the brand right jacqueline hill thought that the picture was cute because she put on there wow myspace days see at the very top jacqueline hill so y'all say i'm lying the house making it up for views and clicks girl Right there. Speaking speaking of views and clicks, have you guys noticed? Look right there. Look, Jacqueline Hill. Have you guys noticed that A3 A3 podcasts are not even getting any views anymore ever since Trisha left? Have you guys noticed that Ethan Klein A3 A3 podcasts views are declining in the house since Trisha Paytas left? Listen, she brings the views, she brings the drama. What he needs to do is talk about her again. Girl, that was drama. Oh my God, you want views, Ethan Klein, HAG Project, just do a little subtle shade at the Trish Pish girl, at the Trisha Paytas girl, and there you go. Anyway, I get off topic, okay? So, Jacqueline Hill posted this picture of Jeffree Star. Up, oh, she's canceled now. She's supporting Jeffree Star. Oh, hold on. Let me put on my Jeffree Star lipstick over my Jacqueline the Hill lipstick with my Shane Dawson mirror. Hold on. Oh, oh yeah. 
Oh, there's another dislike right there, girl. Girl, you buy the makeup, use the makeup. You didn't buy it when they were canceled. You didn't know. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, use it, okay? Anyway, so you're using Jaclyn Hill lipsticks. Oh, there's another dislike right there. Jeffree Star lipstick. There's another dislike right there. Shane Dawson Mayor. Oh, there's a dislike right there. You can't do anything, girl. You can't do anything online. Can't do anything to get canceled in the house. It's like, oh my God. You, to keep up with who's canceled nowadays, it's like so much work. Anyways. I don't think that Jaclyn Hill deserves to be canceled the house because she just reshared a picture of Jeffree Star in support of her friend or whatever. First of all, I do want to say the picture of Jeffree Star girl, like the face, when I saw it online, I was like, okay, the body is snatched, girl. The body is snatched. The legs are snatched. Like, I love everything about it. But the face and the hair, the hair is cute too. It's just the face. It just, it almost looks like superimposed or something. You know what I'm saying? I, when I first saw it, I was like, is this Photoshop the house or something? And I looked at it, well, all photos are Photoshop, you ask me. But I looked at it, like, almost the face doesn't really match the body. But then again, he has tattoos everywhere, so maybe there's that. I don't know. It just, it threw me off. Maybe I'm the only one here, whatever. Lovely photo, nonetheless. Because, you know what? Putting together, oh, more receipts coming in right now. Putting together, you know, like, Photo shoots, music videos, because I just launched my music video the other day. Check it out if you want, it's on my channel. It's a lot of work that goes into this whole production. Just for somebody to come along and be like, Oh, busted the house, patchy. It don't even swatch. It's like, girl, I don't know. It was a lot of work put in there, okay? But anyways, so I have a new from respect by everything. So anyways, all that, pass it that, pass up, pass it on, pass it on, okay? The new drama is that Jeffree Star has not shown support for Jaclyn Hill in a while. So there's that very much interesting team. And if you noticed, on Shane Dawson's comeback to YouTube, he didn't even mention Jeffree Star. Well, Jeffree Star wasn't even featured in it. Wasn't even mentioned in it. I just thought that, well, Jeffree Star mentioned Shane Dawson, but Shane Dawson ain't mentioned Jeffree Star. You didn't hear it from this. I'm just saying, girl. I'm just saying, where, where my, where's my holy mist? Jeffree Star holy mist, girl. You gotta get all the negative energy out of here, girl. I'm just saying, girl. I just noticed that the house, let me see all that drama, comment down below. But you know, I'm not one of the gossip, girl. I'm just saying, you know, you didn't hear it from me if you did. But anyways, Jaclyn Hill said the other day that she is coming out with a new product. Okay? Me. People thought it was gonna be candles. Because you know, I am part of the YouTube candle community. This week's candle is brought to you by Walmart. Yes, I bought this candle at Walmart. Walmart has Halloween candles. This is Mystic Fog. And it smells very good. Look at that, Mystic Fog it's at the Walmart. Don't ask me the brand, it just says Highly Fragrance Candle. That's the brand. It has a moon on it, and a blood orange, and then like no brand name at the bottom of the house. But Mystic Fog, so if you go to Walmart, for those of you who have already, I see you guys. I love you so much. You're my people. Anyways, I thought Jaclyn Hill was going to come out with the candle line. Well, the rumors are circulating that it was going to be a clothing line. I think now, based on my research team, we spent all night. The Halloween budget, that we went over budget with Halloween this year. We broke the bank on this Halloween budget, girl. We're in Versailles in Paris right now. Every day is thousand dollars, thousand dollars, thousand. I mean, the hotel alone. You can see them in the lobby of the hotel and expensive Halloween budget. And the research team. Okay, can I get a like, comment for the research team, girl? So we have the we have the receipt. We have the receipts. We bought the rights. We paid for them. We're gonna roll you the receipts on what Jaclyn Hill's next business is gonna be. I think it's gonna be jewelry, and this is why because she loves it so much. Here we go. Roll it, girl. So last but not least is the jewelry of the closet. And I am a hoop whore, as the majority of you know. So this is my hoop drawer that we custom made these with California closets right here to hold all the different sizes of my hoops. The bigger the hoop, the bigger the hoe, you know how it is. So this is just my dedicated hoop earring drawer. And then once we move over here, this is my actual like earring earring drawer. Now I do have some hoops in here as well just because I'm starting to get to that point where I'm becoming such a hoe that my first drawer can't even fit my hoops. So we're just kind of overflowing at this point. Everything that you can possibly see. So as you can see in general, I do like gold and silver and rose gold because those are my favorites. But I do have some pops of color for when I'm feeling frisky, typically in the summertime. I like blue. I feel like blue complements dark hair and light eyes, so you know. And then right here I have my chokers. So this is my choker drawer. And this is just the best way that I have found to organize these types of things because 
when it comes to chokers, I can't really find like certain compartments to hold them. So I just kind of lay them out and let them be like this. I have found they've never gotten tangled and I love chokers so much. So this is one of my most used drawers right here, like my dainty ones. I just try to keep them laid really nice and flat so that they don't get tangled up together. And that's how I store those. So now we are back to where we first entered the closet in the first place, next to all of the shoes. And when you open up this right here, this is where I keep all of my dainty necklaces because dainty necklaces are my most worn thing. As you can see, it's a lot. A lot of pieces in here still have the price tags on it because I buy so much dainty jewelry, whether it's real, whether it's fake. I just love dainty jewelry so much. It's my favorite. I love to layer jewelry. I am all about just like a layered neck. It's my favorite thing. I rarely wear big, huge statement necklaces because this is what I'm all about. So we actually found these things right here on Amazon for just a couple bucks each. I want to say they're like in between three and five dollars and it's literally just a sticker on the back that just like sticks right onto the wood and it's good to go. We thought of all different ideas of a way to store all my dainty necklaces and this is the best solution that we could come up with. So I can just shut my door and I have a mirror on the back and that's where I clasp all my necklaces on. Last but certainly, most certainly not least, is my sunglass collection. I love sunglasses. If you can't tell, I'm all about the accessories. I'm all about the shoes, the jewelry, the handbag, the sunglasses, the jackets. Like, I don't even care about the main outfit. I only care about the accessories of the outfit. So I am a sunglass whore as I am a hoop whore. And I tried really hard to get like individual compartments to fit my sunglasses so they wouldn't touch they wouldn't scrape they'd be so perfect and prep all the time but I, that just that wasn't my life so instead we had them all laying out like this right here in the drawer I love it though because I get to open up every single day and see what the f is up right here is like my aviator section with like my blockier sunglasses my more cat eye I have a theme that kind of works in my mind for my glasses and then up here these are all my most recent sunglasses which are all by the brand key and no this is not sponsored but key if you want to sponsor me hey hit your girl up you know where to find me um I actually went to San Francisco recently and hung out at their headquarters and they surprised me and they gave me all these glasses and I was so excited I was like jumping up and down like a kid I was actually acting like super cool I was like oh thanks it's like so nice of you but then inside when I left I was like oh my god so I had them all displayed right here because when you get something new, it's like the fun thing. Like every time I get like a new foundation and it's like expensive and I feel like so like bougie about it, like I have to keep it in its packaging for a couple of weeks because I feel like, oh, it's so amazing. So that's why I have all of my keys sitting out right now and I absolutely love them. So yeah, that's it you guys. I love you so much and I hope that you- Ooh, honey. Let me know what you think about all that drama in the comments down below because you're already now, girl. Anyways, I want to say a big thank you for you guys watching my videos. I really want to know what you guys have to say about that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.